Dark and Darker's Dungeon Delvers. I have just achieved multi-classing on my Warlock, so I've got a level 63 Warlock, which makes me have a Warlock Master Class, as you can see here. And I just got my level uh, Cleric to level 33, so now I have a Cleric Master Class. So now I can go between both of them. So right now I'm on the Warlock, and I'm going to choose to multi-class into Cleric. So I would like to use my learning tokens. I have four here at level 63. And then out of RNG, I ended up with Divine Strike, Resurrection, and Divine Protection. None of these I really want, but um, honestly, I don't know. If I go BSB and Divine Strike, that'd be, that could be kind of cool. Let's try that. So we'll take Divine Strike. And then I'm going to use all my tokens here. I am eventually going to want Sprint from my Fighter and Poison from my Rogue, but um, with the new fortune teller i'll probably just redeem all my tokens and then we'll run it back so i got undead slaying again for a pve build this could be really fun so i'll probably end up taking that um kindness judgment i'm gonna pass on and so that's undead slaying i'm overhealing i really want to see if torture master gives me overhealing that would actually be cracked um i sure i'm getting a lot of spells Cleanse. PFE, I got it. Yes. All right. Uh, I was going to use... So anyway, you can use the fortune teller and you go to mind wipe. And then for 500 gold, you can forget all of your um, all of your master classing and get your tokens back. And then it goes on cooldown. I, and so I, I, would, I would do it now just to showcase it. But this is too important. The fact that I actually managed to get PFE to me is huge. So now I will take protection from evil which is now in my perk list. And then when I go to spells, I don't have to change anything too drastic. I can just pull straight from the cleric. So here is divine strike. So now I can actually rock something like BSB and divine instead of hellfire or what have you. And then, I mean, that's a lot of weapon damage. So that's plus 10 weapon damage right there alone. You can see where multi-classing gets pretty uh, crazy. And then when I pull up my multi-classing tab, I, I, what I really wanted to do was get that plus five MH but the overheal is also very interesting. So let's see, let me put on overheal. I almost feel like you go overheal instead of vamp and then you just make up for the 20% MH on gear. So then I have shadow touch, PFE, overhealing and torture mastery with phantomize and spells. And then in the spell list, for now, I'm going to go back to like TM full, so I'll take Poss and Cop with Bolt Flame Lock and then probably Hellfire. Where's my Hellfire at? Can I touch TM, PFE, Overheal? This is crazy. What a build. Um, I'm gonna take this in really quick and, and test it with the guys. Uh, I am I'm gonna play my warlock real quick actually. I wanna see if overheal okay. works. I, I got multi-class overheal. Did you see you can't inspect anymore? It only yeah. it only shows you your own gear when you look at them. Oh yeah. It only shit, shows you their right. builds. It shows you your I was enemy like build. this guy has the same your pants your me. gear. It shows your build. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what to go for multi-classing. Alright, immediately I want to see if I can overheal. It works! Yeah, that's what I figured. That was the whole point of oh why I Oh my god, what if I take Robust on the Barbarian? I can get up to like a zillion fucking health. Yeah, but then you don't kill anything. Yeah, but I'll look cool. That's about the best. I could have 300 health as a Warlock. I mean... Wait, dude, it works on Shadow Touch! Okay, it's yeah. boosted as fuck. Oh, it's so good. I love it here. Alright, Iron Mace was right. Yeah. This is insanely awesome. Okay, good, th good thing they nerfed Shadow Touch. See, 
Dude, if works. I get plus five MH from Cleric, I'm gonna be cooking. Maybe get a Hellfire in there. Anyway, I'm gonna test out the new Fortune Teller Merchant. So here is the Mind Wipe ability for 500 gold. Undergo a Mind Wipe. And now I cannot do it again for a one day cooldown. And then that does give me back my tokens. So now if I wanted to redeem my tokens again, I end up with Earthquake, Bind, and Divine Strikes. We're going to take Divine again. Here I'm looking for plus 5 MH. Uh, Requiem, Holy Aura. Mm. Bind, Kindness. Oh, wait, Smite. Wait, hold on. Hold on, okay, Smite. Judgment, Requiem, Holy Water. I don't know, let me, let me see. This could actually be really weird. All right, so then we go to, we go to class. And I could do Smite plus Spells. And then on the Spell side, we can take BSB. Cop and divine. What, maybe Eldritch Shield? Perks, we go Shadow Touch, and we get rid of TM. We go Holy Aura. Anti-magic, plate lock. What about malice? Malice would boost the damage of smite. And then we just step in and we melee everything, especially with a Chris Dagger. Right, if we have a Chris Dagger and we run BSB and Divine Strike and Smite, how much damage is that? 5, 10. It's plus 20 damage on a Chris Dagger. That sounds insane. All right, Dude, wait. I gotta go. I gotta go test my damage. I'm, I'm a smite. Oh. I'm a smite warlock, boys. Just heads up. I'm be stepping in there. I got. I got BSB, divine strike, and smite. Keep him with the on a gray two. long sword. Okay, I'm already hitting for 100 with a gray and no gear. I think that shadow. Or what? What was that? That's pretty crazy for live. So we'll have to get a bunch of classes to 30. And then at least, I, I don't know if it's going to work the same on live, but if it's a 24 hour cooldown to reset your tokens, that's actually awesome. It's really good. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I will see you live on twitch.tv slash so bad strange. Please comment, like, and love if you enjoyed any part of this video, and I'll see you for the next one.